Hey guys, how's it going out there? If this is your first time here, welcome to Stuck in the Current Field, where we explore Illinois. My last video was on fun facts about the state of Illinois. I thought I would continue with that theme, so here are a few fun facts about the city of Chicago. The world's only drive through post office is located in downtown Chicago. The old Chicago main post office was built in 1921. It was designed by the architecture firm Graham Anderson Probst and White. In 1932, it was expanded to nine floors, which add up to 60 acres or 2.5 million square feet of floor space. The expansion was necessary because at the time, that was the post office that handled the shipping for the mail order business of Montgomery Ward and Sears. The first hospital blood bank in the United States was established at Cook County Hospital in Chicago in 1937 by Hungarian-American physician Dr. Bernard Fantas. The term blood bank was coined by Dr. Fantas's daughter Ruth. Dr. Fantas ran with the phrase because everyone understood how a bank works. According to the Chicago History Museum, the term jazz was first applied to music by the Chicago Daily Tribune in the fall of 1915 when writer Burt Kelly used the phrase jazz band. The Adler Planetarium in Chicago was the first planetarium in the Western Hemisphere. It was named after Max Adler, who contributed funds for the project. It opened to the public on May 12, 1932. It was declared a National Historic Landmark in 1987. Chicago was home to the first modern skyscraper. It was built in 1885 on the corner of Adams and LaSalle, and it was known as the Home Insurance Building. It was designed by engineer William LeBaron Jenny. It stood at that location until 1931 when it was demolished to make room for another skyscraper, the Field Building, which is now known as the LaSalle Bank Building. The brownie was first created at Chicago's Palmer House Hotel. Bertha Palmer, wife of millionaire Potter Palmer, was the head of the Board of Lady Managers for the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition. She requested that the pastry chefs at the hotel come up with a new dessert that could be transported in box lunches. The dessert was a huge hit, and the rest is history. The same recipe is still used at the hotel, which is located at 17 East Monroe Street. The first daytime TV soap opera came out of Chicago. On January 31, 1949, the soap opera These Are My Children premiered on NBC in Chicago. It was created by Erna Phillips, who would later become known as the Queen of the Soaps. These Are My Children only aired for 24 days before getting canceled, but it paved the way for a new genre of television. Speaking of TV, the first all-color TV station debuted in Chicago on Sunday, April 15, 1956 at WNBQ-TV Channel 5. At 4.15 p.m., Robert Sarnoff, who was the president of NBC at the time, pushed a button, and the station went from black and white to color broadcasting. The station referred to this event as C-Day. The first televised U.S. presidential candidates debate in a general election was broadcast from Chicago's CBS studios on channel WBBM on September 26, 1960, between John F. Kennedy and Richard Nixon. Prior to that, debates were done over the radio. Chicago is known as the United States Railroad Capital, with more major railroads serving the city than any other place in America. More than 1.3 million rail cars go through Chicago annually. Chicago has been the center of pinball manufacturing since 1932 and is home to the annual Pinball Expo, which is open to the public. The world's first successful open heart surgery performed on a human took place at Provident Hospital in Chicago on July 9, 1893. Dr. Daniel Hale Williams saved the life of James Cornish after he had been stabbed in the chest. The patient took 51 days to recover from the wound and lived for another 20 years thanks to the quick thinking of Dr. Williams. On a side note, Dr. Williams founded Provident Hospital, which was the country's first interracial hospital and nursing school, just two years prior to performing the open heart surgery. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel to show your support. Until next time, I remain stuck in the Kernfield.